everybody. Um, we're back. <laughs> uh, we hope everyone's doing well. And we're going to try a new channel, uh, Fearsome Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos. We're going to give it a shot. Hopefully it's good. Yeah. Um, we have a really good ghost story for you at the end of the video. You don't want to miss it. It's really good. And I'm trying to think of anything else is going on. Oh, we want to thank you for all the comments. Last video, oh, I was really excited reading them. I really, really loved it. Seriously. I was like, oh, what, what's going on? And I'm watching everything. So, yeah. Anyways, this uh, is uh, Heather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is your boy, JJ. This is a reaction video in case some of you get angry that we're watching a video and reacting to it. It's kind of the point of the video. Yeah. Kind of the point. Just... And unfortunately, we usually debunk things more than scary react. Um, uh, that's just our nature. Yep. Uh, try to think logically before we jump to something that's unlogical. Okay. Yeah. But uh, hopefully this person, Fearsome, brings some really good videos. And hopefully we've never seen them before. So... All right, let's go ahead and get into it because I got stuff to do after this video. But anyways, let's get into it. Let's see what happens. You guys ready? Are you ready? All right, let's go. Hopefully it doesn't have problems. Okay. Let's see Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. If you've been searching for something creepy to watch, then you're in the right place. Number 1. Nope. Just recently, I came across a couple videos that immediately gave me chills. A man named Danny from TikTok is a dad to a young son who looks to have something from the other side trying to communicate with him. From what I've gathered, back in 2020, Danny and his son lived in an old basement apartment. And it wasn't long after moving in that he got the feeling that something was off. Danny would often let his son run through the long, empty halls until one day when his son discovered a mirror that caught his attention. Okay, so this is the crazy shit I've seen so far. I was taking the trash out with my son and he kept pointing at the mirror and waving and I didn't know why, so I pulled the camera out and I can't believe I caught this. After his son was pointing himself like the in the kid. mirror, another ghostly child's face appeared. Like it matches this the eerie face. face in the mirror lingered for a few moments, appearing to be staring back at Danny. I caught it. And strangely yeah. enough, yeah. this yeah. almost yeah. looks yeah. to be his son's face, yeah. somehow still yeah. being reflected yeah. in the glass. Well, this wasn't the only eerie encounter with this mirror. Yeah. It's been a while since we stopped at the mirror and we were taking the dog out and Rowan wanted to go check it out. And uh, I can't yeah. believe we caught this. Whoa. Another, I can't believe I caught this. No, 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 no. Rowan no. seems hyped and he's trying to explain to me what he just saw. <laughs> oh, sorry for cursing. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't know, no, I don't know no, about no, that, no, no. Once again, while Rowan was staring in the mirror, like the something unnerving appeared. What looks to be a small ghostly apparition Regal? manifested in the reflection, oh, then quickly disappeared. And if we take a closer look, yeah. this small ghostly figure no. actually appears to have a face very similar no. to the one previously caught in this mirror. <laughs> so is this mirror haunted, or was now this song just red on an camera. Thanks, JJ. Yeah. You decide. <laughs> Number two. A woman named Erica Jordan <laughs> is a loving mom of three that enjoys posting videos with her kids on TikTok. Everything she's ever posted is lighthearted and funny. But recently, she turned to TikTok looking for answers after experiencing something terrifying. With a small security camera in her kid's bedroom, she used the microphone feature to say goodnight. But her kids weren't the only ones that responded. Goodnight, love you. Goodnight, love you. Goodnight, love you. <laughs> it's easily faked, but it's After not, her you know, kids it's said not faked, a third fake. chilling voice can be heard saying, <laughs> This terrifying disembodied voice came from somewhere in the room <laughs> with the kids, although neither of them seemed to have heard it at the time. Erica has no idea who or what this could have been, 
but I'm thinking it's definitely time to call a priest. Number three. Wait, because you made a face. Just go in there and say goodnight to your children. Give them a fucking kiss. You know? Well, maybe she already did that. And then she's like, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for bed. And then she saw him on the thing that they were still awake. So she went ahead and said it again. Yeah. You don't know. Don't yeah. assume. I'm a something. I'm assuming. <laughs> That's still eerie. Good night, mommy. <laughs> I still could have been a kid. But... TikTok user Josiah Worley is someone I've featured on this channel several times before. Josiah is a big fan of playing video games and drinking a few cold ones. Although every time he drinks, it seems to stir up something dark around him. Unsure of what was causing this activity, he began to believe that maybe his apartment was haunted. But unfortunately, now that Josiah moved into a new place, this frightening activity seems to have followed. Look. I was just, I got my light on and everything. Um, I was just talking about how what I was going to put these things in the closet so I can put my monitor in there. Like noise isolating. Are you f***ing kidding me? I don't know what to do. Except for say f*** you, bro. Nobody here. In the crevasse. Fishing line. Yeah. I don't know why I'm stepping in here, but yeah. Uh, I. Uh, oh, I did. Drink. While recording, Josiah managed to catch his closet door eerily closing on its own. He quickly went to show that absolutely no one was inside and that no one was hiding in the crevasse. In the crevasse. A little while after this upload, even more <laughs> unexplainable things were caught on camera. What are you, a wizard, bro? That just knocked off. God. Are you looking at yourself? Dude. You're a fing wizard, bro. Are you sure don't, this is the don't be doing guy? that shit. Also, stop, please. I, it was so. You were so quiet, please. Oh my god. Shortly after walking into his kitchen, one of the cabinet doors opened completely on its own. And it sounds like Josiah's new theory of what's been causing this is a wizard. Well, if that's the case, then it looks like this wizard is at it again. What the actual f nuggets? Now, I would say that would be hard to do if it didn't have the handle. Because you have to press the button in. But since that one has the handle... Then, it could just be pulled. See, you can't see the handle. Let's, um... Let's not do anything stupid, please. I would appreciate it. Please. Once again, while recording in Who his kitchen, the microwave ghost? door somehow flung open Saying, on its do own. This sudden stupid. activity caught Josiah by surprise. And strangely enough, as he got closer, his phone began to glitch. No one knows for sure if this is a ghost or a wizard. But my vote goes to Wizard because it's cooler. Number four. A man named Ben Herrera is a husband and. Dude, you got. Don't just throw a fucking TV on the floor and be like, we're gaming. What? Set a place up. Get a desk. For the love of God, the thing is the beginning. This is coming from a man that had a corner TV stand and sat on the floor for most of his life. Yeah, I had it on a stand. Your TV screen, but you sat on the floor. And you didn't sit in a chair. Yeah. I had to get him this chair. And he's like, I don't need a chair. Yeah, because I'm a grown-ass man. I'll sit on the floor. Well, guess who uses the chair? Fucking nuggets. <laughs> That's what he said in there. 
Anything weird that starts happening, I'm gonna be like, is this a wizard? Ow. <laughs> He's got catchphrases. At the very least, he was entertaining. <laughs> but anyways, let's continue. And father, who hasn't really had any encounters with the paranormal. But something happened last Halloween that Ben can't explain. According to Ben, his neighbor set up a haunted walkthrough in his garage, so Ben offered up his ring cameras to put inside to catch people's reactions. Well, one day, while no one was home, movement was detected in the garage, and this is what was caught. I need to get one and set it up in your parents' house. Right? Now, why is there a ghost hanging up? Like, at least... It's a, it's a haunted attraction. Well, this is just asking for trouble. So there's a black mask. An eerie, dark okay. figure can be seen walking around the garage. So, this figure came into view. I don't know what a bug looks like on the lens of a ring camera. Mm -hmm. If you guys happen to have pictures or something you can find for us and comment below. I don't know what it looks like, but most cameras are blurred out, so you can't get real good detail. So how do I know that's not a tiny bug? It could be a tiny bug. View from the left, lingered for a moment, then quickly walked back out of view. If we take a closer look, the shadow appears to be a small being moving around the garage. Ben's at a loss for words when it comes to this footage, and I'm also not exactly sure how to explain this. Number 5. Number five. A man named Patrick from the Haunted Side YouTube channel is a paranormal investigator on a mission to catch proof of the afterlife. He often sets out to old abandoned places that most people would never set foot in. Well, one of these places was the Nevada State Prison. Once a nightmare for inmates and guards alike, the now closed prison has over 100 years of negative energy inside. Well, as the moon filled the sky and darkness engulfed the building, Patrick and Jason were ready to begin their investigation. All right, here we are. Marvelous on. Sister, meet. Dude. Lasting. Dude. What? It was. Stream. It had somebody on there. Students. Did it? Yeah. It was mapping somebody right there. But you're just turning it on. Yeah. Intent. Right? Idle. Ticket. Bang. Did they play it? I don't Bang. remember being this loud. Suddenly. Pretty. Remember. Wow. It's going off. Yeah. I've already started getting chills. Rapture. Are you? What did it say? Rapture. Tear. News. It had somebody on. It just won't stop. Me. I never even heard it say that. Tear. Welcome to A Block, guys. Yep. All right, who's in here? Are we allowed to be on the prisoner side of the bars? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. Maze, maximum, unclear, tube, stay, music, truck. Jeez, it said, ma it said uh, maze and maximum. Got really cold right here, and it's hot in here. Yeah, if you all right here on my like my legs got. Cold. Well, it's hot in here, dude. I'm sweating, and I've got full body chills right now. <laughs> it's you could see my arm hair is sticking up. It said bury stuff. What do you, what are we what are we trying to bury here? Above Satan. Whoa! Whoa! Satan. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, I think this is fake just because. Did you hear how weird it said it to you? Yeah. Satan just went, Satan. <laughs> oh, I got like a pain <laughs> like in my a, neck, it too. Chris. Complete. Cook. Oh, and I've never heard an This thing is just like three just going off. It's just reminding me of three songs. Which just means that the atmosphere Get in this place is shifting and changing constantly. 
Almost immediately after stepping foot inside the prison, a figure was briefly tracked nearby, and the ovulus can be heard saying, Satan. Well, as they continued exploring, they found out that they weren't alone. Sorry. Okay, I have never been on an investigation where that thing just does not shut up. It is ridiculous. Chills. Watch. Row. Do we want to go back behind them? <laughs> Guys. Mike. Go there. I heard that. that. I have no idea. Us. Two. Drunk. No. Turn that off. Turn Gravity. Shit. So we might get some good evidence? He's walking right there. What? Freezing right here, bro. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Who's back there? Yeah, every single time. That's freezing right here. Where's the thermal? Could you give me some physical evidence that it's cold right here? Did you hear me? No. I heard me. I swear. because JJ was talking. What was that? I swear. <laughs> I heard I me. But it sounded like... It sounded... I don't even know, man. It sounded like it came way back there, though. I don't know what this place is. I don't know what this place is. After asking who's back there, a disembodied voice responded saying, me. Patrick was the only one that heard this voice at the time, but luckily it was loud enough to be caught on camera. And as the night went on, things got even weirder. So guys, there's two sub. Did you hear that? No. What did you hear? Like a... So guys, there's two sub... Yeah, it didn't even did sound you hear like that? What he said no. That. What did you hear? Like a... So there's two sides to these parts. The guard side. And the prisoner side. What? Sounded like a laugh. Uh-huh. Here, I'll be the I'll be the prisoner. You be the. Can you get in there? I yeah. Think I've seen those oh, and there's yeah, the this is it, this is it. the barber chair. <laughs> you in there getting your hair cut? I'm the newest prisoner. Which sells mine? Fresh meat. See right there? No, it's an old place for mine. Yeah. Which sells mine? Patrick walked along the inside Just of the cell. It. A strange black shadow randomly covered his face. This shadow appeared out of nowhere, and there was nothing in front of the camera or the light that could have possibly caused this. This strange phenomenon has left Patrick and myself without answers. But one thing's for certain, a dark presence definitely still lingers inside this prison. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to hear more from your boy. As always, if you enjoy these creepy videos, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. Well, I don't know if it was like a shadow. I don't, maybe there could have been like a cloth or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking he's, he's making a decent living, getting a lot of views. Uh, it's a pays Nah, to, it pays doesn't mean to, that it's fake. Pays it to fake a little bit, yeah. A little extra. He's hating today. Do you hear this? The best piece of evidence oh my was some uh, random uh, fucking ring camera. Uh, two ring cameras. Yeah, we need to get one and put it in your parents' house. There's, yeah. like, there's like some legit stuff that happens in our fucking parents' house. It's yeah. crazy shit. Which 
If you like <gasps> this video, go to his channel, subscribe. And this is going to lead us to Heather's story. Story. I might fall asleep. Which is actually partially Gracie's story, which yeah, is not going to fall asleep. By the way. Hey, I almost fell asleep scrolling Macari. You did fall asleep. We didn't almost fall asleep. I walked in here. I'm talking to him from the kitchen. No response. That's not abnormal. I come in here and he's just sitting back. And I'm the, like, what? I got the mouse still in my hand. I'm still probably scrolling. Asleep. Anyway, so. Okay. So at the time, we were living in uh, a duplex. So it was one building separated into two apartments. And uh, where the driveway was, that part of the outside of the wall had no windows. It was just a brick, brick with siding on it. That's it. Uh, and we were coming back from Gracie's birthday party at the time. She had just turned four. And Andrew was just a little, little baby, little baby. So, we pull into the driveway, and um, I get her out of the car. I was like, go stand over there while we're getting Andrew out and getting the gifts out and stuff, you know, so we can go in. She's okay. So, she runs over to that exterior wall that has no windows. Like, she's literally two feet from this wall facing it. And just starts talking. And I'm noticing this as we're getting stuff together. I'm like, what is she doing? You know, usually kids have imaginary friends. She has never had an imaginary friend. So seeing her talking to nothing was very bizarre. But I was like, okay, you know, she's, she's four. Maybe she's going to start having an imaginary friend. I don't know. You know, it's our first child. I don't know. So, we get stuff together. And we're getting ready to go into the apartment. So, JJ's in front of me. He's going to unlock the door. He has Andrew in the car seat. And I have some of the gift bags. And Gracie's in front of me. So, he opens the door. Well, when we're walking up, I notice she has her hand out. Like, kind of swinging. But, like, she's holding something in her hand. So now I'm like, mm, this is really weird. And then uh, JJ goes in and then it's time for Gracie to go in and she steps to the side as if to allow somebody to go in with her while still having her hand out like she's holding something. And I'm, you know, I'm taking notes, mental notes of this happening. Thinking, okay, I, I need to see what's happening. I'm a little bit questioning this whole thing. So, she plays through the rest of that day. Talking and giggling and stuff. And I was like, okay, you know, whatever. JJ has to go back to work the following day. So, it's just me, her, and Andrew. And she's doing the same thing, playing with her toys and giggling and talking to something that I cannot see. I was like, okay, well, she has an imaginary friend now. Okay. All right. So I'm in the kitchen. I think I was doing dishes at the time and which faces out towards the living room. So she came up behind me and she was like, mommy, um, something uh this is sunny and i was like okay and i'm like wow she's given this imaginary friend you know a name okay and i was like okay you know i told her i looked at her I told her she goes well can't you see him i was like no no i, I don't see him she goes well he's standing right here and i was like nope mm -mm. I don't see him. I said, uh, what does he look like? You know, kind of keeping it upbeat, you know. And she goes, well, 
Sonny went out in the road and got squished by a car like a pancake. And he's blue. And now I'm thinking, what the hell is going on? Because this is a four-year-old. And she would not know about cars squishing somebody, hitting them. And she definitely wouldn't know the color of a dead body. Okay. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then she runs off. She's all giggling. <laughs> you know. And playing. So now I'm thinking, oh my gosh. What has happened? <laughs> what are we dealing with? So I'm thinking if it's a child spirit, it, then, you know, it's a child spirit. Okay. That's not that bad. But then I've heard stories about how things could pretend to be a child. Demonic things. That's bad. So I was telling my mo mom about it. And uh, we we're like, well, let's see what happens. You know, maybe it'll just go away. Don't have to worry about it. Okay. That's what I decided to do. So, um, I think a couple days later, she comes up to me. She doesn't have him with her. She comes up to me and she goes, um, Sonny is scaring me. Now I'm thinking, okay, this is definitely not an imaginary friend. Because if you ever had an imaginary friend, you wouldn't get scared by them. Because if they're doing whatever you're pretending that they're doing. And I was like, okay, why is he scaring you? She goes, well, he stays in my room all night and stares at me. And he tries to wake me up. Okay, and I said, well, where does he stand? So she takes me in there and she's like, that corner over there, which is the same spot she was talking to outside that exterior wall. It's the same spot. And I was like, this is, this is insane. Okay, because <laughs> now I'm thinking, all right, this is bigger, this is bigger, bigger. So I call mom and I'm like, hey, this is what she told me. You know, and mom's like, well, just let her stay over at her, at her house for, I think it was, what, a couple nights? Mm -hmm. And we'll see if Sonny goes away. We'll see if he leaves. I said, okay, that sounds like a good idea. We'll try that. So, um, as I'm going, as I'm taking her to my parents' house, I asked her, I was like, is Sonny with you? She goes, no, he stayed home. Like, well, that's good. <laughs> so I take her over there. And the first night that she's gone, she had a toddler bed in her room at the time. And we all slept in the same room, me, JJ, and the baby. And we didn't have pets at that apartment. We couldn't have pets. So JJ and the baby are asleep. And I'm trying to fall asleep. Now, JJ can fall asleep two minutes. He's gone. Okay. Me, I'm rolling over from one side to the other, laying there contemplating my life decisions. Okay. Before I'm falling asleep. <laughs> so I'm laying there. The house is pitch black. I have a nightlight in my room and I am not embarrassed to admit that. I do not like pitch black darkness. But anyways, <laughs> so I'm laying there and I hear... The creak that her toddler bed makes when you sit on it. And it, it's, there's no mistaking that sound. There's just no mistaking it. And I'm thinking to myself, nope, I'm not getting up. Nope, I am not getting up. JJ's asleep. Mm -mm. Everything else is pitch black. I'm not getting up. So I didn't, I just laid there and finally fell asleep. And um, after a couple of nights with her grandma, we brought her back and I asked her if she saw him anymore. And she said, no, he was gone. And she hasn't seen him since. And till this day, she hasn't had an imaginary friend. So that really freaked me out. 
uh, living with that for a few days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was scary, uh, almost to the point of like a you could make a horror movie out of that, you know. And I thought it was a little ironic that the first video uh, in this clip was about a kid. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, hmm. get you playing you. Yeah, we're not discussing that because that's something I don't want to talk about. But you can ask me questions about the sunny thing. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. If you have any questions about the yeah. story. Please comment, like, subscribe. It means yes. the world to us. Yes. Yes, um, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, we, we do this anyways. We watch these videos together and I figured record it because then we have the memories. So if you watch this video and you're like, this is just someone else's thing, I don't, I don't care. I really don't. Yeah, there's Sorry. plenty of reaction yeah, videos plenty of there. reaction videos. Yeah, so. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I usually watch these kind of things. So since we've done these videos, I've stopped watching them to, to save them because I don't want to see the videos and then not have a proper reaction to the videos so but like i said i hope you guys enjoyed if you did like subscribe comment please please oh shush it anyways we hope you guys have a good week and uh we'll catch you next time bye yeah.